Once upon a time, there was a fortune teller who forecasted that when a poor woman's son was 14 years old, he would have the princess as his wife. As soon as the king heard his news, he went to see his family. You are very poor. Let me adopt your son. I will take good care of him, said the king. The king put a baby in a box and threw it into the river. The box floated and then stopped at the mill dam. A mill owner and his wife found the boy. They had no children of their own, so they were very glad. Thank God for sending him to us. One day, the king went to the mill. He walked to the mill owner and asked, Is this young man your own son? No, answered the mill owner. Fourteen years ago, he floated down to the mill dam in a box. Then the king knew that the young man was the child he had thrown into the water. The king said, I want him to take my letter to the queen now. He wrote a message saying that, As soon as this man arrives, let him be killed and buried before I come back. The young man started his journey and lost his way in the forest. He saw an old woman's cottage. I come for the mill, he said to her. I am bringing a letter to the queen. May I stay here overnight? Poor boy, said the woman. You have come into a den of thieves. They will kill you if they see you here. I am so tired, I cannot go any farther, said the young man, and he fell asleep. When the thieves came back, they read the letter and felt pity. They wrote a new message saying that, as soon as this man arrived, let him marry the princess. The king returned to his palace and found that the forest was right. He felt angry and said, Whoever marries my daughter must bring me three golden heads from the head of the devil. The young man started his journey again. When he reached the first town, the gatekeeper asked him, Why are you which one's filled with wine has dried up? Wait until I come back. You will get the answer, said the young man. He traveled further to the second town, and the gatekeeper asked him, Why doesn't an apple tree in our town bear golden apples again? Wait until I come back, but you'll get the answer, said the young man. He went on and came to a wide river. The ferryman asked, Why must I always row backwards and forwards and is never free? Wait until I come back. You will get the answer, said the young man. When he went to the devil's home, the devil was not at home. Only his grandmother was sitting in a large armchair. I'd like to have three golden hairs from the devil's head, said he, or else I cannot keep my princess. Let me see how I can help you. She changed him into an ant and said, Creep into the fold of my dress. You'll be safe there. There are also three questions that I want to know, said the young man. Please pay attention to what the devil says when I pull out his three golden hairs, said the grandmother.